The 3D printing world has been rocked today by a pillar of the community, something that a lot of people have actually built their identity around being ripped away from all of us. And boy, I've got feelings, but I've also got an alternative for everybody. I am, of course, talking about the Benchy fiasco. Hey everybody, it's Joe the 3D Printing Professor, and if you're new to 3D printing or just want something new to do with 3D printing, you're in the right place. I hope that you'll stick around, and I hope that you'll maybe come join me on my Discord, where I have a great group of people who are doing great things with 3D printing and helping others do great things as well. So, what am I talking about today? Well, if you haven't heard, according to this Reddit post, the Ghost Benchy and Glitched Benchy were taken down by DCMA and the 3dbenchy.com lawyers are killing all the fun. Why? What's happening with this? Well, a little bit of background for people who may not know, but the 3D Benchy is a benchmark test. It was designed to have various elements that would enable you to, well, not really test your 3D printer. I mean, hopefully by the time you get your 3D printer, all of these tests have been done. In the end, it ends up just being a fun print to make and a lot of people really like it but honestly as a testing apparatus goes that's not what most people are using it for and a lot of people part of being a, a part of this 3d printing community is they're making remixes of it they're using this to make really cool pieces of art now here's the thing in the past the 3d benchy was posted with a no remix clause on their license that they released it with, which is something that a 3D modeler can do. They can make something and they can stipulate the way other people use it. And the people who made the Benchy said, we don't want remixes of it. And the reasons why they said so in the past was because they wanted to preserve the benchmark nature of this. And if somebody makes a remix, it might not have those benchmark elements. And indeed, many of these remixes do not have those benchmark elements in them. So it's a fair thing for them to say. However, that didn't stop people, a lot of people, from taking this and making it their own and doing all kinds of really fun and really cool things. And here's the weird thing. The 3D Benchy people would feature these remixes and be like, ooh, take a look at all the cool things that people are doing with this idea. Hold on, guys. You were the ones saying you don't want remixes, and then you're celebrating the remixes? Like, pick a side here. Well, it seems that they have. A little more digging by Reddit has shown that 3D Benchy was sold to a German company, and it's now that German company who are the ones who are sending down the DCMA notices, which, again, they have the right to do and had the right to do, you know, from the beginning. But now that it's in the hands of somebody else, it's being taken away from us, and we are no longer allowed to make these remixes. And I got to wonder how much further this is going to go. Because it's not just remixes. The Benchy exists on many new 3D printers. It has become kind of a community test to see how quickly this particular 3D model can be printed. And the problem is, if I were a 3D printer manufacturer and knew that the owner of this 3D model was now going to start getting litigious on me, I'd be real concerned about using this 3D model as a test print on my 3D printer. Now, mind you, I don't think that they have anything to worry about because as far as I understand it, the license allows people to reprint it and, but I'm really not sure. And if they're, if they're taking down people for their remixes, what else are they going to do next? I could see a lot of manufacturers being real nervous right now. The thing is in 3d printing, we have a sharing community. We have a community of people who put stuff out there that don't ask for any money that do sometimes ask for at least a little bit of credit for what they do. But for the most part, it's allowed. It's allowed to use them and show them off. And most people are pretty excited. Heck, the Benchy did a really good job of, you know, marking the print itself so that you knew where to go to get more information about it. So, you know, every one of those prints had that going for it. Maybe not the remixes, but yeah, this is just a part of the community. And, and what are we going to do with this happening now? I myself have actually made a remix of the Benchy with uh, 
printer block connectors in it. And in fact, yeah, I lost most of the benchmark elements of it in doing this. But uh, yeah, this is this is the Benchy model with printer block connectors in it. I, I mostly, you know, well, actually, the, the body has, was completely remolded, but the the prow and the, the, the body of it right there, that's mostly from the original. And uh, yeah, there's a good chance that this is going to get taken down, which I, I wouldn't feel too terrible about, but I did I did rename it a little bit to maybe do a little bit of misdirection and, and you know get their attention away from that. So if it sticks around, that'll be why. I also made another Benchy inspired model, but this was not modeled from the Benchy. Every part of this particular model was modeled completely originally by me. And so this this particular and again I'm calling it print a tuggy. This particular model is not it's inspired by the Benchy, but it's not based on the Benchy in any way. I literally modeled it from scratch myself. And part of the reason why I did that was because the original Benchy does not follow the sizing conventions of printer block, which are 16 millimeter squares. But yeah, I've got something to worry about in this. I've got a couple of models up there that they could decide to take down. And hopefully, especially with this one, hopefully they won't. But who knows? But what about all these people who have used a Benchy as part of their 3D printing identity? Well, I'm sorry, guys, but you're going to have to come up with an identity of your own. And I'll tell you the truth, being in 3D printing as long as I have, this isn't the first time that this has happened. My first blog that got me started on this whole media thing was called Joe's MakerBot. Because back then, all of us, many of us anyways, were tied up in... MakerBot's idea and MakerBot's branding. MakerBot was us. And that got taken away from us pretty quickly when MakerBot, the founders of MakerBot, decided to get paid for their hard work. I mean, screw them, right? No, I, but it did mean that we who had identified as MakerBots all of a sudden had to find a new brand and had to work on something new. That sucked. But, you know, here I am, the 3D printing professor, so I can't complain too badly. But we still need a calibration print, something that we as the community can use as a benchmark for speed or use as a benchmark for clarity and things like that. I have a humble suggestion, if I may. What about the printer block calibration block? This is a just it's a simple printer block, and it's got X, Y, and Z printed on the sides. And that's pretty much it. There is a fancier version, but for the most part, it's these it's these simple calibration blocks that I'm recommending. And in particular, if you go down into files and you go down into calibration block STL P560 calibration block, that's the one. It's got three calibration blocks, two connectors. Those connectors will test whether your bed is level and things, you know, whether you can have small parts actually stick to your bed successfully We'll be testing overhangs, but not testing them too much. Uh, and then you got a nice little fidget toy. These things are fantastic for just snapping apart and putting together and playing with with the three of them. And plus, it could provide the beginnings of a beautiful collection of printer blocks for you. So my recommendation, of course, is, hey, if the Benchies let you down, then jump onto the printer block bandwagon. We'd love to have you. This is disappointing and frustrating and just a part of the world that we live in. I mean, it, we are sharing ideas. Other people sometimes take those ideas and do things with them that we don't want, but that's part of freedom. Freedom means sometimes people do things that you don't want. And in this case, it means that we're losing something that I, I am really, I never really liked the Benchy as an idea. I don't understand why people were so excited about this little tugboat, but I liked that people were excited about it. I liked that people were building their identity. They recognized that this, this became an icon of 3D printing. And now, forget about it, I guess. I, it hurts. It hurts even for me, who wasn't a big fan of the Benchy. It hurts for me to see that happen. And I am sorry to everybody who is finding themselves at this time wondering what to do. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. Uh, what's our next step here? What are we supposed to do? Or, or, you know, do we just press forward with the Benchy and just, you know, forget those guys? Who cares? I don't know. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this one. But in the meanwhile, you know, check out printer blocks, maybe? Just, 
Just my thought. I want to thank you very much for watching. I want to remind you that you are a child of God, so you're special to me. So take care of yourself, and if you can, someone else too. I'll see you next time.